Okay, folks, today is the day. It is finally here. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. There it is, the Hemiway Cruiser. Finally came today after almost two months of waiting. So we're gonna get to the unboxing now. I'm gonna to try to save this box because I think if you ever have to send it back, they want it in the box it came in. So I'm gonna to try to preserve the box as much as I can. Probably save it in the attic. Anyway, let's see what's in here. Looks like the fenders. Oh, and the front tire. May have to cut this out of here. There's the trunk rack. Beautiful. I think I'm going to pull this out of here. I'll stop the video for now. for this Pretty heavy. I didn't expect the back fender to be installed, but it is. First things first, here's my hat. Adjust it for my big head. Nice.
Here's the accessory pack. Got the front light, the tool kit, the pedals, the assembly for the front wheel. Assembly instructions and the owner manual. And the charger. Man, this is a behemoth. You can see the Hemiway motor. I think I'm going to take the battery off right away and get it charging while I'm putting it together. I've taken a lot more of the packing off. Here's the, the back rack, which is very nice with the Hemiway brand branded in it. Very, very nice. Um, the key was packed as, as it said it would be. I just had to cut it loose. I'm going to try to charge the battery now, but somebody told me when you unlock the battery, be sure to catch it because it'll fall out of the other side. So I have a little charging station that I've made here for all of my charging my helmet lights, the bike battery. It looks like it, it's fairly charged. Got two lights here, but I'm just gonna plug it in. Get it good and charged while I'm assembling the rest of the bike by removing this plate here with the four screws and the tool that they sent. Well, that was pretty straightforward getting the handlebars on. I did have to adjust the wires here a little bit, just push them out of the way. I still got one more bolt to go, as you can see, but the tool makes it easy. May have to move the wires a little bit, but I'll tighten that up. Hey, nobody ever mentioned the bell before. I even bought a bike bell, but I don't need it now. I did have to tighten this as well. It was a little bit loose, but that's okay. You got the tools to do it. There's protective plastic on everything. So I'll just leave that on there for just a little while. Protected plastic here too. You can see it bubbling up, but that comes off. Everything's looking great so far. I'm gonna get the pedals on now. Get the directions again. It said to install the front wheel first. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I did put the kickstand down, but I don't know that you'd need to with the front like it is. But I'm gonna try to go ahead and get the front wheel on. This would be easier with two people, but I don't have anybody else here. So it's certainly not hard. It's not difficult. It's uh, this thing's just a monster. This disc comes off here. I guess it's just for protection. I do believe that this is just here for protection too. So that'll come off. a little bit of doing to get that seated properly and get the brake right there seated properly but it's okay and that on that nut right there so it's good to go I'm gonna put this right through and you want to make sure that the spring the small end of the spring is toward the inside and then tighten it up with this. Yes, the, the chain is not around the gear mechanism here, but that's easily, I can just easily slip that on there. Try to determine which was the right pedal and which was the left pedal. But if you look very closely, right here, 
it's got right and left. So the right goes on, turning clockwise, it says. Pretty easy. You have to turn more than just the brake. You have to turn the nut rather than, I mean, uh, rather than just the pedal. I'll tighten that with the tool. The back fender came put on already. That's going to save a little bit of time too. Let me get these pedals on though. I like the branding, the Hemiway on the seat, the Hemiway on the motor, on the bike battery. Looking good so far. NM, I have no idea what that means. I just used the tool to turn it until it didn't turn anymore. Go ahead and put the back rack on. The screws are right where they're supposed to be. There's no searching for anything. Here and here, that's the tail light up there. So I'm gonna get those put on. This is the only pack of nuts and bolts that actually came with it. Everything else was already where they were supposed to be. I imagine I'll look into this, but I think it's for putting the light on. And I'm gonna to try to put, put the front bumper on first and then the light on top of that. I think that's the order it has to happen. So far, I've only used two of these tools. Well, three if you count this one that comes out, but all kinds of tools in here that can Help you out, screwdrivers. The back rack went on very nicely. Very easy. I'll just put the tail light on now. Okay, getting getting the tail light on was a challenge, but I just used the two small screws that kind of self-fed into the back of the plastic and I ran the ran the cord down the side here and I'll put some twist ties on there. It did come with the twist ties, so I'm imagining that's what they're for. They're positioned correctly, I think. The little thing goes on the front of it here and it's good that they supplied this tool to hold the back of it right here but you can't use the hex key with it at the same time. So luckily I had some, I had some tools, some hex keys already. So I'm gonna use both of those to get Hold it on. the nut on the back while you screw it with the hex key. So all in all, if you have some pliers and maybe an extra set of hex keys, it'll help you make it easier to get it put together. I just check the battery and it's good to go. So that's it folks. I guess it took me about an hour. Got the battery back on. And I'm gonna take her for a spin. Here's the finished product, folks. Getting ready to take her for a spin. Can't wait.